Socially Responsible Investment Sukuk or SRI Sukuk are a new and upcoming type of investment in Islamic finance. Uh, many proponents of Islamic finance have over the years tried to draw parallels between uh, the principles of Islamic finance and ethical finance. So for example, both of them, they have restrictions in terms of what they can invest into, uh, what is deemed unethical, and those restrictions apply to both of them. Now, one of the most recent developments in the market was the first SRI Soko issued by Kazana National, a sovereign wealth fund based in Malaysia. And the proceeds raised from that issuance are used for a trust schools program. And that is the social impact aspect of it. So the Kazana Soko um, issued previously um, was designed so that it had unique features and aspects to it which would be reinforce the socially beneficial aspects of an SRI Soko. So there was two principal features uh, that were notable of this particular Soko. The first being that there was uh, a KPI performance implemented on the trust school itself. So the trust school that received the funding as part of the Soko issuance actually had to be measured in terms of its performance in the way that it taught, in the way that the pupils uh, were educated and an uh, independent report was uh, developed to show its performance and that was then tied directly to the profit payments of the Sukkot issuance. Now what this does is it creates an incentive for the school to perform uh, brilliantly and then the obligor in the Sukkot uh, structure would then have to pay less profit to the investors. And obviously the investors that do invest into the Sukkot knew from day one, have to understand that what they're doing is agreeing upfront to reduce their income from the Sukkot if the school performed excellently. The second aspect of this particular issuance was that the principal plus the profit of the issuance could be waived by investors. So for example, what this did was it, it actually allowed um, not just your tradi traditional investors to come into the Sukkot, but it also allowed charities and say institutions with budgets for CSR. And what it means is that the, these institutions, they have restrictions in terms of what they can actually donate to. So one of the restrictions obviously that they, it has to be uh, something which they don't receive any income for. So since they waive the principal plus the profit at any time from the date of issuance almost until maturity, that means that they would then receive nothing, they would have made a donation, and they would, that would also be tax deductible for them. So what this did was this was very beneficial because the SOCO now was open to a wider investor base. So not only those that investors, traditional investors such as banks and funds um, and other investors who would be interested in perhaps a reduced yield but for the benefit of investing into a trust school um, but also those charities as well so what you have is a wider investor base. Now we see many types of projects uh, available at the moment across the world which have this social impact element to them. However, what we don't see is um, Islamic finance eager to take those opportunities or to invest into those areas. And we believe that given the compatibility between socially responsible investments and the principles of Islamic finance, um, this should be a space where Islamic finance should tap much more frequently. And for this to happen, I believe there is a few things that need to, uh, to take place. Number one, there needs to be education for um, investors in terms of how these particular uh, Sukkot work or these types of investments work. And the second aspect is obviously for more projects to be developed in perhaps Muslim countries or countries where Islamic finance is very prominent. And what that would do is allow obviously for uh, Islamic finance institutions to be able to see the potential, um, know the impact within their own communities. And that would obviously entice them much more.
So given these two aspects, if, if these are implemented properly, we, we foresee there'll be uh, a lot more socially responsible investments in Islamic finance.